Hey everyone, awesome job this week in Operation Elevation. Today I am going to take everything and just combine it and we're coming to a culmination at the end of this week. I want you to really enter the weekend feeling awesome. You've created so many incredible conversations. You've created so much momentum. I mean, don't you feel really good right now? The participation in this group is incredible. So we know you're having all these incredible conversations. Now today I want to give you a lesson on how to put a fortress, I always mess up, fortress around your focus. I think that everything you've learned this week has led to this point, especially yesterday with Courtney going over your priorities and your time suckers. Um, we, we, if you know that Beachbody is one of your top three or four priorities, then you know you want to move it forward. You want to do something with it. You're in this group because you want to do something with it. So what you need to do is to create a focus for your work every single day so that you are working intensely with focus intensity, you know, so that you are very effective with your time and that when you're working in those power pockets, you're doing the activity that needs to get done. Because I want to be honest with you. If you want to grow your team and help your team advance and you want to, you know, build a team, you will need to do more than just your daily fours. And I know you know that. But sometimes it can get really overwhelming and a lot of times we feel like the work is never done. And I want you to know that every single night I go to bed and I do not feel like the work is done. And I want you to look at that as a true blessing. There's always someone to talk to. There's always someone that needs our help. There's always this. That's kind of a good thing if you think about it. The work is never done because we are always in need. Okay, so think about that way. That is a blessing, but also be okay with that. That's hard for me, but I want you to be okay with that. So what I'm going to share with you today is my seven days a week focus. Okay, so you want to get out your pen and your paper for this. In order to, to move my team forward, in order to continue focusing on what I need to do, in order to continue building my business and in this team and, and learning and growing myself, I have to divide my focus every day because I can't focus on the same things every day. You know, every day my non-negotiables are my daily fours and on the four vitals. Like those are going to happen no matter what. Those are already built into my schedule, into my business time, into my power pockets. Like I know when those things are happening. I hope you do too. Um, but I also need to do other things. And so it's kind of hard to pick and choose which ones I need to do. I've done a lot of training. I've done a lot of research, a lot of personal development. And so what I've ended up doing is I've created a focus, a business focus for each day. And that's what I'm going to tell you today. And I hope this really helps you kind of compartmentalize all the different facets of this business and be able to approach each day with a really strong focus. Like your focus is, I got to do my daily force, I got to do my four vitals, but I also need to improve on and focus on other areas of my business. And when I focus on them, I'm eliminating distractions and I'm not letting any other thing get in my way. Like I've got emails or messages popping up, but wait, that's not my focus right now. Okay. So on Monday, my focus is on my team, on my challenge groups, and I will make an invitational post on, my, on Monday. So. I'm, I'm focusing on my team. I'm going to build them up. I'm focusing on calls or mentoring calls. I'm focusing on my challenge groups and really getting in there and listening and paying attention to what's going on. And I'm going to do my invitational post that day. On Tuesday, I'm going to check my emails. I'm going to focus on my emails, on my follow-ups because I just made an invitational post the night before, on my coach online office and expanding my personal business. And when I say that, that could be doing something like within a, a community group, like a, a small group that I'm a part of, that I'm gonna get involved and try to meet new people, or it can be lots of different things, but I'm gonna do more than the daily fours on Tuesday to expand my personal business. On Wednesday, I'm gonna focus on the team again. I'm gonna focus on my own personal training. You know, so I'm gonna do my PD, but I'm gonna go above and beyond on Wednesday, and I'm really gonna dig in and dive deep into some of the trainings that I'm a student of. Or you could just listen to some of Shaleen's podcasts. 
you know, so like do more than just your PD. Like Shalene's podcast isn't just your PD that day. You're doing your PD, you're reading your book, reading the compound effect. You're also going to learn something new today um, about your business or about being a business owner. Facebook like pages perhaps. On Thursday, I'm gonna focus on implementation. I've got all these notebooks of amazing notes. I've listened to Shalene, you know, I'm doing all these trainings, but you don't always have time to implement. So Thursday, I'm gonna make sure that after I get my work done, my daily fours, my four vitals, I'm actually gonna make time for implementation. For example, yesterday, Eric and I, we've taken notes on new coach onboarding. We've been, you know, looking around. We've been kind of reflecting and assessing hours, and we know we want to redo it. Well, we said, okay, let's make it happen. On Thursday, we're going to implement. We're going to actually get to work and implement some of our notes and strategies we've learned to make changes on our new coach onboarding. So that's what you need to do. I'm also going to focus on expanding my personal business more on Thursday. On Friday, I'm focused on recognition. I am going to do, I'm going to go above and beyond on Fridays for recognition cards, gifts, um, messages, text messages, voice messages to challengers, to coaches, to people who I want to show massive love to. Friday's all about showing massive love and massive follow ups because all week long, I've been connecting, talking to, inviting people. I even did an invitational post on Monday and then on Wednesday. So Friday, it makes sense to show massive love to those who said yes to me, but also to do massive follow-ups. On Saturday, I'm taking a step back a little bit and I'm focusing mostly on my challengers and I'm still gonna do some minor follow-ups. On Sunday, huge day for me to prepare for the week ahead. I'm going to get out my calendar and I'm going to look at everything that I have coming up, calls, challenge groups to post in, training groups, whatever, and I'm going to make my schedule for the week ahead and really know what's coming at me this week so I'm prepared. I'm even going to write down names of people I want to make sure that I connect with and I, and I don't forget about this week. Um, so I'm going to do one more invitational post on Sunday. So you can see how I've taken all those different facets of the business and you know, in addition to the daily fours and the four vitals, I also have a focus point on a different area that I know needs my attention, but I don't always have the time for it. And I don't always have the time to be, you know, like fully present in my challenge groups every day. You know, I don't. Um, but those people are gonna get a lot of me on Saturday. They're gonna get a lot of me on Monday. They're gonna, I'm gonna see who's in, who's out, who can get more attention from me. My coaches, I wish I could give to them every single day, but I can't because we have so many other things to focus on. But you better believe that on Monday and Wednesday, I'm really getting in and, and looking at my team to see who needs me and who needs my help and love, okay? So I hope that helps today. I want you to put a fortress around your focus. So in addition to getting your work done today, I want you to take a step back and make a little schedule for yourself. You know, each day of the week, Monday through Sunday, okay? Monday through Sunday, what should be your focus that week in addition to your daily activities, that it's an area of your business that needs a little more time and attention, that needs a little more focus. Because there's so many things, there's always a new podcast, there's always a new that, but you're like, wait, no, I'm gonna save that, write it on my calendar for Wednesday, you know, something like that. Or wait, I have all these great ideas, when am I actually gonna make changes? When am I gonna implement? When am I gonna figure out Facebook ads? Implementation, Thursday, put it on your calendar for Thursday. So as you're scheduling your day, as you're looking at your power pockets and when you have those focused pockets of time, put those things on your calendar as well because those are parts of your business that need attention from you and you can't do it every single day, let's be real here, but they do need your focus. So your challenge for me today is to make a list Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, da, 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 da. What's my additional focus on Monday? What's my additional focus on Tuesday? You heard me say more than one. You only have to have one, okay? Especially if you're a new coach. But what's your additional focus in addition to your daily activities that day during your power pockets that will help you move your business forward, put a focus, fortress around that focus, help you to reach those goals, that vision to come true, okay? Love you guys. You are awesome. Happy Friday. Let's do this.